So in this chapter, we're going to be looking at uh, inequalities. Ultimately, we want to be able to solve uh, quadratic inequalities, but in this video, I'm going to first introduce to you what we mean by inequalities. It is something that you should have met at GCSE level, um, but I am full aware that, fully aware that um, not a lot of time is given to it. Um, and it is just seen as an offshoot of solving equations, just with a little bit more stuff thrown in, a couple of different symbols. So, just to start us off with inequalities, um, remember with inequalities we have the inequality symbols, so if I'm saying um, x can be greater than or equal to 3, then this can be represented, if you like, on a number line, so that we have uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Okay, this is the number line for x. And we could say, well, x can be 3, okay, which we use, which we represent with a solid dot, and anything above 3. Okay? And likewise, we could do something like x can be less than 2. Okay, so here's my number line again. Here's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and then we can say, well, x is less than 2, so it could be any number up to 2, but not actually 2. And we represent that with a hollow dot, okay? And x can be any value that way, okay? And that's how we could represent them on a number line. So, this is how inequalities can be represented that way, okay? Just using the basic symbols, so we've got greater than, greater than or equal to, less than or less than or equal to. And they're kind of like the basic ideas. There's also the fact that, you know, when we deal with inequality symbols uh, in an equation format, if I just say something like um, 3 is less than 4, okay, which we all agree with, then if you multiply both sides of the um, inequality with a number, uh, so let's say you multiply both sides by 2, we would get 6 is less than 8, okay? Um, so that's perfectly fine, 6 is less than 8, that works. And if I multiply both sides by any positive number, then the inequality still holds. If, on the other hand, um, I had instead multiplied both sides by a negative number, so if I said I multiplied both sides by minus 2, then what happens is we get minus 6, and minus 8, okay? But we know that minus 6 is not less than minus 8. So if you multiply both sides of an inequality by a negative number, the symbol must be changed, okay? So minus 6 is now greater than minus 8. So any time you are multiplying or dividing by a negative number, the symbol must change. These are kind of like the basic ideas of inequalities, so we're going to start off by looking at linear inequalities and then moving on to quadratics.